Tibetan culture and dance thrives here every day. Every hand movement, every step, every smile has a meaning. Generations of Tibetans, young and old, continue to embrace and maintain their cultural heritage. It's a reminder of who they are and where they're from. This is a suburb of the Indian capital, New Delhi. Tibetans have been refugees here since 1964. At that time, this was open ground. There was nothing here. There were no street lights, not even a road. When we came here, we lived in tents. Our understanding then and that of Dalai Lama was that within one or two years, we will go back to Tibet. Indians helped them with food and clothes. And as these rare photographs show, their homes were flimsy. Protecting them from harsh winters and blistering summers were simple brick and wood structures or tents. Their community of a few hundred has turned into a few thousand. This maze of alleyways is a part of a much larger community on the banks of the river Yamuna. The display of symbols, flags and bunting define it as Tibetan. The area also attracts tourists to see Tibetans at work and understand their issues. Tibetans here have been defined as migrants and not refugees because India hasn't signed up to the 1951 UN Convention on Refugees. So Tibetans here have been unable to access the Indian welfare system. So they've become self-sufficient, setting up their own businesses and looking for work independently. But for some, it's not enough. Under the watchful eye of Tibet's spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama, students such as Tenzin Bhutti are grateful for the educational opportunities offered. So the young Tibetans like me, they also have their aspiration to go back to their own country and serve there because they don't want to settle down in someone's land and to settle here. It's an aspiration many in the Tibetan community have and one that isn't going away as the years pass by. For Tibetans around the world, wherever they are, they feel that they are staying somewhere, but their real sense of home is their culture and identity. And, and most importantly, driven by a hope that one day I will go back to Tibet, which is my real home. For the moment, New Delhi is a home away from home, and for successive generations of Tibetans, it'll continue to be so until they feel they can safely return to Tibet. Sahil Rahman, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.